Today, I welcome you all on on Tectone's journey to get people to shut the hell up about five stars being broken and Genshin Impact being pay to win. So in case you don't know, I'm what they call a CN vet. <laughs> hey guys, CN player here. Just wanted to give you my opinion about why you're an idiot. I have divined one of the greatest comps to grace this earth called Banjo-Kazooie, or you can call it God Comp if you don't get the reference. So. Zhangling summons a bear, fish summons a bird. In case you don't want to sit here for five minutes of me explaining why this comp is fucking broken, roll the footage. All right, now look, I know a lot of y'all saw my video yesterday. Everybody was pissed about the booty signs, but ladies and gentlemen, we have a fix. Uh, go on co-op, get your butt to go up a cliff, boom. We got the angles back, boys. Okay, but stay Wait, there. Wait, what? But stay there though, okay? <laughs> you <laughs> Stay there. Why please. should I stay here? Uh, because I already beat the boss on my account, and so I need the boss to be up so I can show the boys that Banjo Kazooie, aka God Comp, is a real thing, please. But just please, uh, <laughs> don't mind me, okay? You can still get the lid, I promise. Why the fuck are you dealing so much damage? Right, that's what I'm saying, dude! Everybody says this comp is shit! Oh, fish is a support! Fish is a support! What the fuck? That's what I'm fucking saying! It's bullshit, okay? Believe in the fish jangling banjo comp cleave. Fuck out of here. So one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to make this video is the whole concept of people saying that fish is a support, okay? Look, I understand what you're saying, but the point is, is that you're saying it wrong. And let me let me say why, okay? So the reason why people call fish a support is because that she summons her bird, and then that way it applies the electro debuff while other characters are out. That way it can continue to push the electro debuff. I understand, but here's the thing. If that is the only prerequisite that you require in order to call and deem a character a support, which you're making new players think that they are a support role, then here is that criteria being met by every other character in the entire fucking game. Zhang Lang drops a bear, applies the fire debuff while she's not online. Okay, Deluke, if you press Q and use his Phoenix attack and you swap out, the fire debuff will still be applied while he's not out on the field. Okay, Gene, press Q. Okay, yes, Animo going the entire time. Fucking Venti, you press Q. The Animo debuff is out the entire time even if you swap to another character. So what I'm saying is, okay, yes, Venti can't apply the electro debuff while she's not on the field, but hey, so can pretty much every other character. So the fact that you're deeming her as a support and a flat support is so idiotic. It's so idiotic. And I know people disagree, I don't care. But the point is, Fish can do so much more than just support in that sense. She furthers DPS. She's a DPS enhancer, right? She's also a DPS herself. If you need an archer, she can be your standalone archer. Sometimes you're gonna need to be an archer, but if you think that all she uses is support, you're probably Probably not going to use her. Fish can be your main archer on your team, and that's a fact. She has support esque elements, but she's not just a strict support. She can do so much more than just that. One of the biggest items in the entire game that can take your fish from going from a level one crook to a level 99 mafia boss is the weapon rust. And this shit is really good because I'm going to say this shit right now, man. You're pretty much never, ever, ever going to use a charge out. A part of me, I'm getting heated up by this argument because I hate people just forgetting about fish because they think she's support. Oh, I don't need that, so I won't use her. Okay, you can put rust on or increase your auto attack damage by 40%, which is actually really good because the amount of times you're gonna find yourself using charge shot is pretty damn minimal unless a boss has a weak point that you need to hit with a snipe. Okay, so you put rust on her and she goes, like she scales really, really, really hard. And also, by the way, Dragon's Bane on Zhang Ling, increased damage uh, against enemies affected by Pyro by 20% is insane because not only can um, Zhang Ling apply fire debuffs every uh, last hit if you have her max constellation, but also if you have your E out or if your Q's active, your damage will be a flat increase. I'm talking E damage. I'm talking Q damage. I'm talking charge attacks. I'm talking regular attacks by 20%. And by the way, dog, that's fucking massive. So the reason why this comp works so well by itself or in a full team, like, let me tell you, did you pair this up with a Venti? I mean, nuts. You paired up with a Gene? Absolutely nuts. You paired up with the MC on Animo? It's absolutely nuts. If you need any free to play options. The reason why it's so good is you can toss out Boba, her E, which is the little bear that shoots out the fire. And then you can toss out Fish's bird. Well, generally you want to toss out the bird first and then the bear. So that way the bird can exist for as long as possible while the bear's out. Um, then whatever other character that you're using can really shine because the ele or the electro debuffs being applied, the fire debuffs being applied. Um, also, if you have uh, Zhang Ling's Constellation 1 up, um, you'll do even more pyro damage because of those debuffs. It's just, it accelerates the damage of whatever character you're using as like your main carry role because that, that's why it's really nice because they can do the majority of their work while they're not active. And it's the same thing, like once again, Fish's bird, 
can be out all the time where you're out you use uh Zhang Ling's Q the AoE fire spear that's out the entire time you're using your main character and that's why they're so goddamn good because they can pretty much do the damage of their entire kit while you're playing as a different character and it's so goddamn good but if you don't want them to do that they can even still carry themselves or even be the main DPS of your team just fine Zhang Ling is a perfectly suitable uh main damage character on your team as well as fish I'm gonna say dude for CN for the CN OBT for two of them the only DPS I used was fish the entire goddamn time and she does pull weight man she she can be a DPS role by herself especially before rank 25 dude and that's like the first like 20 hours of the game so if you want to use fish go for it. and the other reason why I wanted to highlight this team so much right now is because in case you don't actually know if you go to the wish thing right now which you should have a couple free rolls for if you haven't checked your mail yet uh fish and Zhang Ling are both on the right up banner so you'll be getting them a lot more likely so if you are rolling on venti which by the way you should be doing you'll get a bunch of free uh dupes of jangling and fish which will make them even stronger and you'll be able to use them for a pretty damn long time okay lastly for the final test of this team i'm going to be fighting the water boss i know i have a venti and a gene in my team but I'm going to see if I can do it with just jangling and fish. I might use a gene heal every now and then, but because I'm a man of honor, I probably won't. So we're going to see if we can fight this boss only using two characters that are both themed as sports and, you know, in some people's eyes. I know I'm being super salty about it, but it's just because I know so many people who have already dismissed these characters because they don't really know the full story and they only heard somebody else on the internet say, oh, they said they're a sport, by the way, yeah. So we killed those boss, or we killed those uh, mobs in like three hits. Uh, some pretty crazy support damage, right? Bird! And by the way, dog, that damage is fucking nuts, man. Like, how do you not think that damage is nuts? But Next, bird. Zhang Ling, go, 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 dog. My bird one shot these mobs, dude. I mean, the damage here is crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't know how people say that it's not. Dog, this shit's nuts, my dude. Hold up. I, I didn't use my team. That auto attacks, those do not count. Okay? Cut those out. That, that, hey! And they don't count. I'm not using my E yet. I'm not using my E yet. We're gonna wait a second. Yep, I'm gonna use it right now. You might have enough for the final wave, but if not, it's all right. Oh my god. Oh my god, bird. Yep, yep, yep. Notice all the while, like that, that Zhang Lang alt is still gone, dog. That shit tears shit up. Everybody saying I'm outscaling this shit, dog. He's 37 and I'm 40. It's a three level difference, dude. It's a three level difference. Don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Bird. Yep. 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 <laughs> deleted. Okay. Literally deleted. Barely even broke a sweat. I'm telling you, with a couple items, man, like rust the bow, like. <sighs> Is that, I mean, you can do some real nice damage using Zhangling and Fish alone. Same thing with Dragon's Bane, man. The, the problem is, is that there's just so many people judging characters before they take into, like, itemization in mind. And, like, dog, that's huge. I'm telling you, this is a game where the build that you go on their units is what's going to completely derive the gameplay style that you're going to be using on this character. For example, if you use Fish on Stringless, yeah, she can go full support mode. But if you use Rust on Fish, then she can go pure uh, main damage dealer mode. Same thing with Zhang Ling with the um, the Dragon's Bane. So all I'm saying is, I don't think it's a good idea to just hard judge and deem a character as a specific role before you take in mind into what build you're going on them. Because at the end of the day, dog, the build is everything. And that's the whole reason for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I've been tacked on. I swear to God, I'm a salty bitch, but not all the time. Hope you'll subscribe. Hope you'll follow me on Twitch. Peace.